Hi everyone, we're continuing in our fight against COVID-19 and there are some exciting developments I want to share with you. On the vaccine front, the University of Queensland's vaccine candidate is ready for phase one human trials, which have started in Brisbane. The vaccine candidate was prepared in CSIRO's biologics production facility in Melbourne and, if successful, will ultimately move to large-scale production with commercial manufacturer CSL. CSIRO was the first in the world to initiate multi-vaccine animal efficacy studies, including the Oxford University vaccine candidate, which underwent preclinical trials at our Australian Centre for Disease Preparedness. Oxford University have released the results of their phase one and phase two human trials, which have indicated no early safety concerns and have induced a strong immune response. There's more testing to be done, but the results are very encouraging. Soro is looking at a range of options to deliver a potential vaccine, including a nasal spray. On to detection now. We've released a study with the University of Queensland on testing wastewater from long haul flights and cruise ships. We can now detect COVID-19 in incoming passengers, even before they show symptoms, improving our ability to control the spread of infection from overseas travelers. Lastly, Saro is working with Indonesian researchers to help strengthen Indonesia's pandemic response and accelerate joint research outcomes. By partnering with our global neighbours, we can help to manage the social, economic and health impacts for the entire region. The recent hotspots we've seen emerge in Victoria and New South Wales are a grim reminder that COVID-19 is still very much among us and we must continue to practice good hand hygiene and social distancing. We are making good progress, but we aren't through this yet. So please remain vigilant. Stay well, and you'll hear from us again soon.